What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about some of the best lures for bass fishing versus some of the most popular lures for bass fishing and how those are not the same. Before I get started, go down and click that little subscribe button in the right hand corner of your screen and hit that little bell so you know when I put a new video out. So let's get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about the most obvious probably what is the most popular lure in bass fishing. Definitely not the best lure in bass fishing, but the most popular, and that would be the frog. It's a very versatile bait. You can use them open water, up in grass, near docks, down rip wrap, around boat, do around boat ramps, all over the place. Very popular. Everybody wants to catch them on a frog. If I started a lure company, if I started my own lure company, I'd probably only make frogs for the first three years because everybody buys frogs and everybody always wants to buy the newest and latest and greatest frogs. Here's one from Lunker Hunt. Can't wait to try that. I love frog fishing. I caught a 913 earlier this year on a frog on a private lake. I did a video on it. I'll post the link to that video in the description. But anyway, it's not the most or the best lure for bass fishing. One, it doesn't work all the time and it doesn't work everywhere you go. Some places it's seasonal, some places people never catch them on frogs. And the biggest thing with frogs, it's a very low hookup ratio. Everybody's expecting that bite. When that bite for, finally comes, when they finally get that big giant explosion on the frog, first thing they do is they rip it right out of its way before it's even in its mouth. So very low hookup ratio with frog fishing. I know people are going to disagree with me on that, but go right ahead leave it in the tell me all about it in the comments how you disagree with me but this is definitely one of if not the most popular lure in bass fishing and I have bunches of them because I do like frog fishing but it's not the best let's get into what is some of the best lures in bass fishing that'll be the pattern for this video we'll talk about a popular lure and then one of the best lures one of the best lures and bass fishing and i know people are definitely going to disagree with me on this and that is great is the fluke this is the fluke is made by zoom the super fluke the fluke is made by zoom this is made by bitters a local company um, it is not a fluke but everybody refers to them as a fluke or a soft plastic jerk bait it's a fluke that's what it is the fluke is probably one of the best lures for bass fishing because it can be thrown in a variety of locations around docks down rip wrap around boat ramps out in open water through the grass you can fish a fluke in a lot of the same places you can fish a frog but it's not as intrusive and it's a little more enticing again a lot of you guys have seen my video on how to fish a fluke my favorite color is watermelon red i do throw other colors but i love watermelon red i've caught them in lakes as far west as texas all the way up to upstate new york michigan and every place in between a lot here in florida on a fluke you can fish them with a small weight on them you can fish them on an underspin you, people put them on umbrella rigs um, people texas rig them people carolina rig them and i like to fish them weightless on a four aught offset extra wide gap hook dead sticking it you can work them on the surface you can work them under the water like i said one of the best most versatile baits in bass fishing is the fluke or the soft plastic jerk bait because this is not a actual fluke this is made by bitters but that in my opinion is one of the best lures for bass fishing easy to fish tons of videos out there on how to fish a fluke i have a video out there but definitely one of the best lures in bass fishing let me know what you think on to one of the more popular lures in bass fishing next i'm going to talk about topwater lures and i kind of struggle with which category to put these in whether it's most popular it is one of the most popular techniques or one of the most popular lures for bass fishing but it's also kind of one of the best because you can catch fish in a lot of different areas throughout the year on a lot of different types of bodies of water with topwater lures so i'm not really sure which category to put this in they don't bite topwater all the time the conditions have to be right a lot of early morning overcast cloudy days like this but also hot and sunny days 
where there's no wind and no clouds in the middle of the summer, they will hit a top water plug. But you have probably one of the most popular type top water lures out that's been out for a while. It's actually been out for years and years and years, but made a big time comeback the last few years is the Whopper Plopper. This is a Berkeley, the Chopo, basically a Whopper Plopper. People love fishing those. One of the reasons I probably wouldn't say it's the best is because those big treble hooks right there are gonna hang up and all kinds of stuff. So you have to fish them in relatively open water or close to cover, but you can't really throw that up in cover. Top water plugs, you have your, your whopper plopper type baits. You have your walking baits like this uh, dual pitch here from 13 Fishing, a whopper uh, walking type bait. This is the 108, the 94. This is a Berkeley one. These are all versions of the original Zara Spook that's been developed over the years. One of the reasons the Spook has been copied so much is because it's a very good bait. Again, I don't know if it's the best or the most popular. We'll put this in a category of one of the best, most popular baits in bass fishing, topwater plugs. You also got your popping baits. And your prop baits, can't forget the prop baits like the Devil's Horse. I don't have any Devil's Horses in this box, but this is one by Berkeley. The Spin Rocket, a dual prop bait. Um, love fishing top water. Easy to use. Hundreds of different types of top water lures. You can use them all over the place. Small mouth, large mouth, spotted bass, all hit top water. Striped bass hit top water. We don't want to leave out the stripers. We don't include everybody. But we'll throw that in both categories of the most popular and one of the best lures for bass fishing. So not to hurt any of these top water enthusiasts' feelings. Best and most popular. So here's another one that now that I think about it, is probably one of the most popular and definitely throughout this whole country probably probably one of the best lures for bass fishing and that is the old standby everybody's caught a fish on one texas rig worm they're inexpensive they make them in a variety of sizes shapes and colors you have your trick worm type this is a doa lures eight inch cal it's a trick worm you have your ribbon tail worms you have paddle tail worms you have curl tail worms You've got worms all over the place. You go into a tackle store and they're gonna have more rows and selections of soft plastic worms than anything. And there's a variety of ways to fish them. You have your wacky rig, you have uh, weightless, the floating worms. But as far as plastic worms go, some fish blowing up on the surface over here. But as far as plastic worms, go the most popular way they're fished is probably texas rig you have your screw and bullet weights like i like um, you have you can just put a regular bullet weight on there this is a little heavy metal tungsten weight with a bobber stopper and a four out hook uh, these can be fished all over the place i've caught them all over the country on a texas rig worm so just like the last one it's probably one of the most popular but it's definitely one of the best lures for bass fishing if you're just starting out and you need to get confidence in catching fish tie on a texas rig worm i promise you it'll work in your lake you can be fished around docks around boat ramps around riprap rocky points shell beds uh, up in the grass around grass you can pitch them you can make long casts you can skip worms you can do all kinds of stuff with them very versatile works for all three major species of bass largemouth smallmouth and spotted bass the Texas rig worm. I'm not going to go in depth in it because I'm trying to cover a bunch of baits. Texas rig worm, probably one of the most popular and best lures in bass fishing. But where I would lean it more towards the most or the best and take it out of the most popular is because it is a very slow and methodical lure to fish and people get bored of fishing them. People don't have patience anymore. Everybody's a power fisherman. Not everybody can be Kevin Van Dam, the power fisherman. It takes a lot of patience to fish the Texas rig worm because a lot of times you're dragging them or slow hopping them. 
So it takes a lot of patience, and that's why I would take it out of the most popular lure and bass fishing category and put it into one of the best because there's probably been more tournaments in the history of bass fishing tournaments fished on some variety of a plastic or Texas rig worm than any other lure there is. Close call with the next lure I'm going to talk about, but we'll lean this more towards best and take it out of the most popular. On to the next one. This next lure is probably one of the most controversial lures of recent years. I don't really know which category to put it in. Um, I think it created co so much controversy because it worked so well. Um, it doesn't work everywhere you go and it doesn't work all year long in a lot of places. So I would kind of take it out of the best category there because you can't throw it in a variety of situations. It doesn't work well around heavy cover at all. It works better in cooler, deeper water. I did a video on it recently. It is a very popular bait. It was more popular until they outlawed it in most of your major tournaments like Bassmasters and FLW and I'm sure it is not legal in the MLF tour but it is the umbrella rig or Alabama rig as it's also popularly known. Um, I love throwing this thing. I learned how to fish it. I learned how to catch. I had an opportunity to do really well in a Bassmasters tournament up in Tennessee until I had some motor problems on the second day several years ago, about five years ago. The umbrella rig, people, it's one of those lures that people love to hate. I meet people that hate it and I find that most people hate it because they never learned how to fish it. Um, they were beat down badly in tournaments by people throwing umbrella rigs uh, and they got it outlawed. A lot of whining about the umbrella rig. I like it. Not sure. Let's put this in a category I didn't talk about. Let's put it in the most hated category. Even though I love to fish it, people love to hate it, hate to love it, but it works. There's not many lures that you catch multiple fish on one cast. I mean, you'll have your occasional topwater plug where you get one on the front hook, one on the back hook, a lipless crankbait or a crankbait, but these are known for catching multiple bass at a time. So a lure that can regularly catch multiple bass at a time and wins lots of tournaments and when the bite is on and you have a 200 boat tournament and every single boat in the top 20 catches them on an umbrella rig or an Alabama rig, you have to put it up there with the best. Most popular, no, because people don't like to fish them. You have to throw them with big, heavy rods. Here I have a 7 foot 11 heavy action 13 fishing muse with 50, I think this is 50 pound braid, and you got to wing it out there. So, a lot of people, especially people that don't use bait casters, are not going to lean towards throwing an umbrella rig or an Alabama rig. So, we'll put this in its own little category by itself as the most hated, our most loved to hate, hated to love leaning towards one of the best lures of all time because it won so much money in tournaments in a short period of time before people whined and cried it right out of the tournament trails. So, umbrella rig, I love it. Let me know what you think about an umbrella rig. On to the next one. Moving on, let's talk about one of the best baits. It's popular, but again, it can be slow and methodical, so a lot of people don't like to fish it. You can't catch them everywhere you go in the country on it, but when I leave the state of Florida, I seem to always have one tied on. For a time, Denny Brower was the all-time leading money winner in Bassmasters history, and he fishes with jigs. Jigs, and by, there's all kinds of jigs. There's uh, shaky head jigs, there's jigs with just grubs on them, but when most bass fishermen talk about a jig, they're talking about your standard, here's a Booyah jig. Let me get this out of the... This is a bankroll jig. Hundreds of different varieties of jigs. Flipping jigs, casting jigs, skipping jigs, shaky head jigs, I'm leaving some out, um, swim jigs. And kind of hard to throw it in a category of jigs, but the bladed jig, I guess it is a jig, but it's not really a jig. Um, chatterbait, bladed jig. Jigs, 
probably more money won in tournaments around this country throwing a jig than any other lure there is. I don't throw them a lot here in Florida. We have a lot of grass, and to be honest with you, aside from the occasional flipping or punching jig, or occasionally during the bluegill spawn, if we don't have a lot of hydrilla on the Kissimmee chain and the bluegill are spawning right outside the uh, Kissimmee grass edges, you can pitch a big jig with a whole gambler crawdaddy on it right down those grass lines. And I think the bass think it's a bluegill running up and down and we'll catch some real big bass. Anyway, the jig is probably one of the best, most productive, most versatile lures in bass fishing because it can be fished so many different ways. You can throw it without a trailer. Most people put trailers on them, different varieties of trailers, creature baits, uh, people will put frogs on the back of jigs, you can, the soft body frogs. People will put swim baits, well this is a bladed jig and it has a uh, like a little swimming fluke on the back. But people will put those on your standard casting jigs. They make them up to two ounces, probably bigger than that. You have your little skipping jigs, finesse jigs, you can fish them around rocks. You can fish them around docks. You can fish them in grass. You can fish them on shell beds. You can fish them on boat ramps. You can fish them on humps. Just about everywhere. They work everywhere you go. I've caught fish on them on Lake Champlain up in upstate New York, on the Douglas, on Lake Douglas in Tennessee. I've caught them on Lake Norman. Jigs are probably one of the most productive baits there is. They can be, you can drag them. You can hop them, you can skip them, do a bunch of different stuff with jigs. Don't fish them a lot here, probably should, because um, I love fishing them. I've got boxes of them, varieties of jigs, but probably one of the best, if not the best, lure in bass fishing is a jig. And let me know if you disagree with that, because I'm sure you will. I'm not saying that's the best for everybody, but overall throughout the country, jigs probably one of the best lures for bass fishing. Fish a variety of ways. Fish them in brush piles. Probably should try that on some of the brush piles I fish instead of just throwing a worm all the time. But let's move on to another lure. So moving right along, if I didn't talk about crankbaits in this video and the best bass fishing lures versus the most popular bass fishing lures, people would have a heart attack. Crankbaits, again, one of those lures that might fall into both categories. They've been out forever. I'm sure any old grandpa tackle box you find in the corner of a garage that hasn't been touched in 20 years that you open up is gonna have a crankbait in it. Every kid, when he gets his first lures, they start throwing crankbaits. They do take some skill to learn how to fish because most of the time with a crankbait, you're not just going to throw it out and reel it in. You have to. You know, there's a lot of different cadences. The, you know, ripping crankbaits. You can crank and pause. Uh, you have varieties of crankbaits. Your square bill crankbaits. You have um, coffin bill. Your round bill, like this shad wrap here. These usually dive deeper crankbaits. You have lipless crankbaits. I love throwing lipless crankbaits. That is a crankbait but not your standard. When people think of a crankbait, like you see in this box here, um, they don't think of a lipless crankbait, but lipless crankbait, we'll throw it in the category with crankbaits, very versatile baits. You can catch them on all varieties, all varieties of bass, large mouth, small mouth spotted bass on crankbaits and lipless crankbaits. Uh, they have a variety, they have sinking crankbaits, floating crankbaits, suspending crankbaits, various different types of bills different sizes of bills that take the lures to different depths and about every type of color you can possibly think of from ones that uh, are supposed to resemble shad shad patterns to your crawfish patterns so they can represent or attempt to resemble many different types of food that bass eat so and i've caught a lot of fish on them love throwing a crankbait don't get much opportunity to do it here in florida but I've caught a lot of fish on them and they're great search baits. If you're on a lake and you don't know where the fish are, if you need to cover a lot of water to find fish, crankbaits, lipped crankbaits and lipless crankbaits will get the job done most of the time. But 
I think because they've been out for so long, they wouldn't hit the most popular, the most talked about lures out there because they've just been out for so long. Everybody makes a crankbait. They work, a lot of tournaments won on crankbaits, but I rarely get anybody that calls me and says, hey, can we throw crankbaits today? It's always the frog, frogs, 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 frogs. So we'll put that in one of the best categories and not one of the most popular categories. Popular, but not one of the most popular crankbaits. Moving right along, this one's gonna start some controversy. A lot of people are gonna disagree with me on it, but let's talk about flipping and punching. Flipping and punching. What category am I gonna put that in? One of the best lures or techniques for bass fishing or one of the most popular? I'm gonna put it in one of the most popular techniques for bass fishing and by far not one of the most are the best lures for bass fishing. Everybody, there's gonna be a bunch of people that disagree with me on that. As a fishing guide, if I get a request from a different part of the country or just randomly about how are the fish biting, the question, how are the fish biting, one of the things, I, I've actually had people call me and go, are we gonna be frogging or punching? Like those are the only two techniques we could possibly ever do here in Florida is frogging or punching. By punching, Punching's kind of a newer term that's come in in the past few years because we always refer to it as flipping. And uh, I guess it's kind of been separated out because people flip wood, they flip docks, and we punch through grass. But it's all kind of in the same category. Big heavy rods, which a lot of people don't like to fish with. This is a seven foot 11 extra heavy 13 fishing rod, 65 pound braid. I only have a one ounce weight on here because we were punching through some scattered semi-heavy hydrilla a while back with a vile bug creature bait there. Um, most of the time when people are flipping or punching, they're throwing creature baits. There's other lures you can throw on there. The majority of the time, it's some sort of craw or creature bait when we're flipping or punching. Uh, it does work a lot. It doesn't work all the time. There's tournaments won on it, but not as many as you think are won flipping or punching. Have I had 20 and 30 fish days flipping or punching? Yes. I've had 30 fish days on the on Okeechobee and on various lakes on the Kissimmee chain. So it can be productive. The majority of the time, you don't get very many bites when you're flipping or punching. Uh, as far as flipping and punching laydowns and wood outside of Florida, other parts of Florida, and some of your man-made like TVA, Tennessee Valley Authority lakes, um, it does work well. I still wouldn't put it in the best, one of the best lures for bass fishing because for to be one of the best, it has to be something everybody can do. Not everybody can do this. It doesn't always happen. It is, it is a technique that will let you down a lot of times. You go out and practice or pre-fish for a tournament and you get on a big flipping bite or a big punching bite. You're all geared up. You're gonna put a sack in that live well, 20 pounds, 30 pounds tournament time comes and those fish have moved and you're not going to find them with, when you're punching or flipping. You need to put on a search bait like a crankbait or jerk bait, top water, that type stuff. So I would put, so many people are going to disagree with me on this, I would take this out of one of the best bass fishing lures and put it into one of the most popular. Am I saying don't go do this? No, because I love flipping. I don't get many opportunities to do it when I'm guiding. Love it, won some money flipping, punching, but not the best because not everybody can do it and it doesn't work all the time everywhere we go and it can let you down. On to the next one. Okay, this could be the last lure I talk about in the video and I know I'm leaving some lures out like jerk baits and bladed jigs. Talk about those real quick. Everybody likes throwing bladed jigs or chatter baits. They work, very popular good bait. They don't work everywhere you go and they don't work all the time. Jerk baits, versatile bait, moving bait. Don't really, I don't think the chatter bait and the jerk bait meet this category of best of anything. They're just good overall baits. Don't work all the time. Don't work everywhere you go. I love throwing a chatter bait. I love throwing a jerk bait, but they're kind of honorable mentions when you're talking about best or most popular. 
chatterbait or bladed jig will get way up there with the most popular, but because a lot of people have never caught fish on them, everybody talks about them, a lot of money's been won on them, but I'm not gonna put them up in the category of most popular or best because a lot of people have never learned how to fish them or don't know how to fish them or on bodies of water where they don't work very well. So anyway, this is gonna come to, this isn't a very popular bait for a lot of people. A lot of times people just say they've fished with them but they've never caught anything on them. I catch a lot of fish on them. I know guides, buddies of mine that have fished for a living that hate fishing with them. But you can cover a lot of water with them. A lot of tournaments are one on them. They work great. There's some lakes where they work really well. Uh, and it's spinnerbaits. Mm, spinnerbaits. A lot of my videos you've seen us catching fish on spinnerbaits. They work all year. They work in warm water. During the transition times of the year, like we're getting into now, the fall, they work in the spring during shad spawns. Um, there's varieties of them. This is your conventional spinnerbait. One or two blades. I've fished them with as many as five blades on them. They make heavy deep water spinnerbaits. They make them small finesse spinnerbaits. This would be kind of your average spinnerbait. Two blades, three eighths ounce. You can cover a lot of water with them. They're not super intrusive. Uh, they do tend to work better here in Florida anyway when you have some wind. I've been on lakes in other parts of the country where they're just eating a spinnerbait. It could be dead calm and sunny and crystal clear water and they're gonna eat a spinnerbait. What do the fish think they are? If you ask most people, they would think they would say it was a small school of bait fish. The one thing you need to remember with bass is they don't think, they react. So I think it looks like food to them. Spinnerbaits. A lot of people don't like fishing them. I'm about to go throw one here because the fish are just starting to blow up behind me. But I love fishing spinnerbaits. I think it's one of the best lures of all time. Definitely not one of the most popular because the majority of the people I meet when I tell them we're gonna be catching them on a spinnerbait, they'll say, I don't like throwing spinnerbaits. And most of the time when they say that, it's because they've never caught uh, anything on them. And there haven't been a ton of innovations in the spinnerbait industry in the past few years. So they haven't been talked about as much. But it's a good versatile bait. You can fish them all over the place. Fish them through grass, open water, deep water, shallow water, around wood, around rocks, around grass. Out in open water, schooling fish, whatever you want. Um, I've caught largemouth, smallmouth, and spotted bass on them. Spinnerbait. So, I know I left some lures out. I can't talk about everything because who wants to watch a two hour long YouTube video? I didn't talk about the Ned Rig. Um, that's very popular. I don't throw a Ned Rig very much. Um, drop shot, I left the drop shot out. I left jerk baits out, like I was talking about earlier. I like throwing jerk baits, they're great. But I covered what I think are some of the most popular bass fishing lures and some of the best lures for bass fishing and how some are in both categories some are in one category versus the other I hope everybody doesn't agree with me most people should have some disagreements because that's what's great about fishing it's different everywhere you go every state I've been to every body of water sometimes you can travel 10 miles down the road to a lake or lakes that are connected to each other that don't fish the same so for me to sit here and say this one bait is the best lure for bass fishing or this one lure is the most popular because popularity also goes by region or area or species versus smallmouth versus largemouth versus spotted bass but overall throughout the country from the feedback i've gotten from this 5,000 some odd people that i've guided over 21 years and other fishermen that i've interacted with this video I highlighted what I think are the best lures for bass fishing versus the most popular lures for bass fishing, which not aren't always the best, and some of them that kind of hit both categories. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Let me know what other kind of videos you want to watch, and I'm going to do a little bit of fishing, and then I'm going to go spend like three hours editing this video. So see you next time.